Yes, that's right. Uh, this is actually a great moment for the crew because you've been training for a long, long time to reach this point, and now you're finally getting to go out and go fly. And uh, you have this great moment leaving crew quarters and uh, walking out and waving to all the uh, public as you board the bus for that long ride out to the launch pad. It is a terrific moment. You've had the opportunity to uh, fly aboard Discovery twice. This is her 39th and final flight. That's correct. Actually, I've flown aboard it three times. Uh, Discovery was the vehicle that took me up in 1998 uh, to the Mir space station and four and a half months later came back as a different flight, STS-91, and took me home. So ah, I'm very, very glad to uh, see it arrive, as you can probably imagine. And since then I've had two additional flights on Discovery, including the return to flight mission. And here we have the crew uh, walking out of crew quarters. This is a very historical walkway. It's the same path that uh, the Apollo astronauts took to go to the moon. And over the last 30 years, there's been 133-odd uh, shuttle crews that have walked out here to catch this bus for the exciting ride out to the launch pad. There you see them standing there just waving to the press and media and the crowd as they board the bus. This has got to be an exciting moment. It is, and you sit in the bus and... Uh, it's an exciting moment, but, you know, there is a certain amount of uh, tension in the air, as you can imagine. It's a bit like uh, first night jitters for an actor on a stage show, possibly. Uh, uh, you know you're going to go on a great adventure, and uh, it's about to start. So you sit in the bus, and uh, you, you talk about things. You tend to make uh, a lot of rather lame jokes amongst each other to try and break the tension a little bit, but there really is an 800-pound gorilla in the room in, in the bus, and you can feel it, too. You, there, there is, people are quite keyed up. During this time of pre-launch activities, there are some traditions that have followed uh, in the shuttle program. In the Russian program, of course, they have a lot of traditions that they follow when they launch on the Soyuz. They make sure the crews do everything that Yuri Gagarin did when he launched. We, we don't have quite as many, but uh, prior to walking out uh, to the launch pad, uh, the tradition is that uh, you play a few rounds of cards with uh, your crewmates, and you can't actually leave the uh, suit-up room until the commander loses. So. Uh, they play a game. I'm not sure what the game is. It's sort of more throwing cards down randomly than an actual structured game. But uh, it's kind of fun. And when the commander loses, then you give it the go to actually walk out uh, and take the elevator ride down and uh, board the bus. The bus ride tends to be <clears throat> fairly quiet. Um, for many of us, it's a int uh, fairly introspective time, as you can probably imagine. You uh, uh, think about what you've been doing to get to this point. When I've done it, I've thought about the extraordinary career paths that have led me to be in that really unique situation of riding a